Across the Royal Parks, there are more than 170,000 trees, from elms to oaks, and they all provide habitat for a diverse array of wildlife. Some of them are ancient veteran trees, over 400 years old. But it's not just the living trees that are important, dead trees matter just as much. If you've taken a trip to one of our royal parks, you may have seen some old rotting trees or logs laying on the ground. You might even think this dead wood is messy and should be tidied away. But we leave this dead wood here for a very good reason. It's absolutely bursting with life. Just one handful of rotting wood can contain hundreds of invertebrates, from tiny springtails to stag beetles. Deadwood also contains a reservoir of nutrients, which over time are recycled by fungi and invertebrates and returned to the soil. For many invertebrates, deadwood is where they're born, it's where they live, and it's what they eat. Take the greatest stag beetle, the biggest beetle in our parks. The larvae can spend up to seven years of their life feeding on rotten wood until they've built up enough energy to emerge as an adult beetle and fly away. But this species is under threat from the tidying up of deadwood from parks, woodlands and gardens. Without deadwood in our parks, we wouldn't get to see these beautiful beetles or the thousands of other fascinating creatures that thrive in this habitat. But don't worry, you can help your local invertebrates. If you've got space in your garden, why not create a nice log pile for them? It would be like building your very own bug hotel. And the next time you're taking a stroll in the park and you see a rotten old branch, try not to disturb it. Just remember, deadwood is good.